Hey guys, what is going on? Brian here with another Clash of Clans video, and today I am bringing you the Hidden War Base number two. Now, somebody in my comments posted, hey, go look at the War Base, the Hidden War Base. It is a lot different from the original map, and I didn't think that was true until I came and looked at it, so... Thank you. I'm going to post the guy's name who said that on the screen now. I really do appreciate that. And uh, we're going to check this one out and see how it does now. It looks really scummy compared to the other one. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and build it. And when I'm done building it, we will see the results and see what we can do with it. Chasing our hearts till we end up falling Young and alive, we were runaways In a wasted summer Okay guys, so here we have the finished product. Now one of the walls was in the way over here, so I had to move it. Otherwise I could not fit that army camp onto the map. It was pretty strange how it didn't work out over here. Um, I don't think this base design is going to do well at all. Um, I don't. I, I just think we're going to get hounded and it's just not, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be a bloodbath, but hopefully we set it up strong enough on the bottom so They'll attack us from the top. They probably will. There's not enough archer towers up there. Um, but hey, I guess I guess I should move my traps a little bit closer, huh? Um, move my traps a little bit closer to the town hall and try to get them on that top side too. I'm probably going to do that with my air bombs. But we are going to do this in war and see if it works. And if you guys were confused one more time on what I was doing with this base, why I built this base, 
Um, I'm gonna show you one more time. So what I did was I went ahead and I filled in all the lighter hues um, and the different shaded hues of the map. And uh, yeah, that's what, that's what we have right now, as you guys can see, the finished base. So when I scroll out, you guys can see those squares a little bit better. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see the defenses these uh, the space brings up. I know it's probably not going to do well. I already talked to my clan saying it was really, really bad. And uh, yeah, let's see how it does in war, guys. So I will see you guys on battle day. All right, guys, here we are with the first defense of the Supercell war base. Let's see how it does. This guy is going to be attacking with two golems, ten witches. That's pretty crazy. And uh, a P.E.K.K.A., eight wizards, and his level 40 queen and level 37 king. I don't know what he has in the clan castle. We'll have to check that out. Um, but he is going to attack from the top. He's going to put down two golems. All of his witches. Out of the clan castle comes two more witches and two wizards, I believe. Take a chunk out of those um, witches up there. And they're all going to funnel for this mortar. Out comes my witch and my archers inside the clan castle. They're all going towards the center. I was a little worried at this point, and the defenses are going to be taken out here in a second. And watch what happens. The king and the queen decide, hey, we don't want to go towards the center because there's not any buildings left. So they went to the side. That is their AI at work, and uh, they're going to just start running that way, along with a whole bunch of the little skeletons that are going to leave the witches unprotected. I have a giant bomb there that's going to take out one of the witches, and my inferno tower is going to do work over here. The P.E.K.K.A. is going around. The King and the Queen are totally lost. They're on the opposite side of the base. He still has one wizard. My Town Hall is completely exposed at the top. But there's no more troops for him up there. So he's got his King and his Queen down here. Still really healthy. Makes me a little bit nervous. But they're going around the loop-de-loop. -loop. They're doing the round around. They've literally gone complete 180 from the top almost to the bottom. So that's pretty awesome. The King is uh, King's getting pretty low. Still has his ability. The Queen is deciding, hey, we might want to make our way towards the Town Hall. But everything's going to focus her. And here comes the traps. The traps to save the day. The traps, the witch traps, the skeleton traps. Yeah, I always call them witch traps for some reason. But the skeleton traps come out. And the queen is going to go down and not take out the town hall. So he is going to settle for one star. And we are going to go ahead and win that defense. That is the only defense I have so far. But it was a successful one in war. This is in North 44. So we're not facing any clans who are like messing around although that attack strategy was pretty uh pretty troll but uh i actually defended with this base so maybe supercell is onto something with this base uh, but good defense there let's see if we can get another one all right guys here we go with the next replay um this is going to be another, another clan war the reason i am in one is because i only got attacked once on that last clan war and he did get the one star so that was pretty cool um the fact that we only got one star this high up is pretty awesome um, I do have both my Inferno Towers set to single target. Not sure if that was a mistake. Uh, let's, let's check out this defense, though, and see what happens. He's going to put down four golems, including one inside the clan castle, so that makes five. And he's going to put down a whole bunch of his wizards up there. Nice spread of the wizards, I must say. Um, and he's going to attack from the top. Here comes my clan castle troops. I got one witch and the rest archers inside there. And as you can see... He's going to make pretty quick work of it. The AoE splash damage of those wizards, um, they're not going to be able to take out much before they go down. So no really success there with the clan castle troops. Maybe maybe not the best spot for the uh, clan castle. Might have done better on the bottom. I don't know. We probably just got lucky with that other guy. He was pretty bad at raiding. But um, yeah, the big bomb's not going to do anything to the queen. Just a little bit of damage. Um, still a whole bunch of wizards left on this top side. The bottom side, there's a couple wizards doing work with the golem. Um, and they're actually doing a lot of work down there. I'm surprised. And so the queen's going to take out the town hall, no problem. My queen is going to go down. My king got taken out by the, his queen. Bomb's not going to do very much for us. Just overall, really good raid by this guy, and it shows the kind of, uh, the defense this is. It isn't the best defense, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's still pretty cool to think that Supercell maybe hit a base in here. Um, I did look back, guys, and I messed up one of the walls over here. It is actually in the wrong spot um, on the edit mode. One of these walls needs to be moved a little bit differently, right on that little edge right there. Um, but yeah, the guy's going to two-star us. Really does suck, but I'm really impressed at the fact that we only got uh, one star on one of these raids, especially while in North 44. So uh, yeah, this was the Supercell Hidden Warbase. You guys should definitely try it out. 
um, give it a whirl. I'm sure you guys could do it at Town Hall level 9. I don't know if you have enough walls. Um, I didn't even have enough, enough walls at Town Hall level 10 to fill in all the spots. Um, but you guys should try it out, test it out, see how it does, have some fun with it. I'm sure you guys can uh, find a better arrangement for your defenses and buildings than I can. And let me know how it goes, guys, if you do try this out. But this was the hidden Supercell War base, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Let's see if we can get 500 likes. And you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.